Hey, thanks for slithering in. I'm Simtherin and welcome back to my channel and to another speed build in The Sims 4. We are already midway into this because we are in the fourth unit. I had to count real quick, sorry. Fourth unit of the units in the apartment complex thing for the apartment building I built for the for rent expansion pack. That was a mouthful. But the layout of this one, it's very compact. So it gave me some trouble. So I had to, you know, tweak a few things often. Um, I wanted to have stairs in here, but I opted out for a ladder, which you have to access by going into the bathroom, which is a little weird. Uh, now that I'm saying it out loud, but for the Sims who live here, I wouldn't imagine it to be so weird because the story I had here was this is maybe a young mother, um, maybe she was a teen mom or just, you know, straight out of college or something, maybe not even college, maybe she didn't get to college, but, um, basically she had her kid when she was very young and they moved into this little tiny apartment probably because that's just what she was able to swing um i don't know what the mother does for a living so that could be you know whatever you imagine it to be but i think they made this little space very cozy and very homey like they're very comfortable here and they're happy and that's all that matters all you want to be is happy, right? I know that's all I want to be. But we have down here on the first floor of the apartment. This is the only apartment in the unit that has like two stories. Um, we have just a kitchen, small dining space, and a couch. And the bathroom. And then up here, they actually have the luxury of having this nice outdoor patio space. Like kind of rooftop space so I wanted to put a lot of the items from the for rent pack like the um chalk hopscotch the um marble ring so we have that there then there's this little tiny room that could be a bathroom if you don't want this house to have like a kid in it so it could be a second bathroom easily or an office space um it's really up to you, but I really like the idea of like just squeezing a kid's room out of that tiny spot. So, but that's why they have that whole rooftop space. So it's fun. Uh, here is like a formal living space where we have an actual couch and TV because we didn't, we weren't able to fit that downstairs. So here's just where they can watch movies together and play games and watch TV, all of that good, happy, happy-go-lucky stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying this series. This is the final installment. So I know it's kind of late in the video to say if you haven't seen the first two parts, go and check them out. But go and check them out. Um, they're already up. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you kind of like this breakdown apartment series, let me know. Maybe one day I can do another apartment complex build. It might be a while, you know, but maybe I wouldn't be opposed to doing it again. I had a lot of fun with it. It just, it took some time. That's all. <laughs> but I'm always happy to do it. If you guys want to see more or something different, I'd love to give building an apartment another go because I did struggle getting this one together. Um, cause I had some builder's block and I had to fight through that, but we got through it and I'm really happy with how it came out. So I would love to give it another go. Um, so here I'm picking out the bed for the mother who lives in this room and she has her own little office space as well in here. So there's a desk and some clutter, which I really like how the clutter came out. I even put a suitcase here. Um, Maybe they travel to, like, Grandma and Grandpa's home in a different world. Maybe Henford on Bagley or something. Like, maybe she ran from home. Um, I don't know. There, There's, like, endless possibilities. I just thought 
bringing in the pink from the curtains with that suitcase was kind of cute because we go for a very like pink and orange theme here uh which isn't very typical but i kind of want to do it again uh i want to challenge myself with color palettes this year uh i know i've said a lot about my goals for 2024 in the last few videos and that's because i'm recording the voiceovers on every or like on the same day like this is my third voiceover um so i have a lot of the same thoughts today and that's 2024 and you know goals and all that good stuff but anyway here is the office space very cluttered and then the kids room is it's really squish it was kind of hard to like maneuver and like kind of get good angles while building it if that makes sense and then even in the tour at the very end which uh the first two parts of this build did not have the any like tour footage I just showed some screenshots but usually at in my videos at the end I like to do a full like tour where we just like cinematically walk through the build right from exterior to interior to floor plan all that good stuff and I saved that for this video so you guys can see it all together in one um I did not have this up on the gallery as of posting at least the first part I might put it up on the gallery as of the time I'm recording this voiceover only because there's a couple of other builds I need to go in and make sure I get up on the gallery for you guys if you choose to so it might be up already probably is mm -hmm. my gallery ID is Simnarin and just as a friendly reminder I do not play test my builds I I'm very conscious of time management and it's just not something I personally enjoy to do. I build mostly for aesthetics. Um, but yeah, so sorry about that, but I feel like most things would probably be easy to fix if things aren't working. I hope so. Um, but if more people yell and scream and tell me, hey, Cinder, and please, can you like play test your builds a little more i i'll i'll figure it out i'll make some time but as of now it, it's just for fun this is for, well it's always going to be just for fun um but anyway yeah the kid here does have their own little tv i was imagining them to be like a little hand-me-down and some hand-me-down toys i i just think it's very cute and i think i would have been happy in a small room like this as a kid Mostly because I had a decent size room growing up as a kid, but I shared it with my sister. So I would have definitely preferred a smaller space that was just mine, if that makes sense. But that that's, that's my opinion. We're going to head over to the final apartment now. I can't believe it's the final apartment. This series has been, I'm going to say it again, so much fun to do. So I really tried to make each apartment unit in this complex as different aesthetically as I could. Uh, unit one had like some more darker tones. We had the cat lovers apartment with some light wood tones. Um, we had black wood tones. And then, so this one, I wanted to go with white wood tones, which is not something I typically use. Um, it's very clean looking, which isn't, it's not bad. I do like white wood tones, but it's not something I find easy to work with uh, I guess if that makes sense so this is for a sim who is probably very neat I imagine them being maybe some kind of influencer or has some kind of online presence or um even if that's maybe like behind the scenes online presence maybe they work for a company and they do the marketing or the social media work or you know something like that um, I don't know. I really liked it. So we've got a lot of soft blues, some soft pinks. I keep pulling out like the pastel pop kit wallpapers because I thought of doing like a pastel themed apartment here. Um, but I, I don't know. It just wasn't clicking for me, you know, but this was, and I like it. I really like the cute little kitchen. Um, you can't see the oven, 
but it is in the island. So, yes, there is an oven here. You just can't see it from the screenshots and pictures and things because of the weird angles. So, apologies for that, but it is there so your sim does have everything they need to, you know, cook and eat and live and survive. Um, once again, I left the bathrooms out of the speed build portion of this. I probably could have left them in, but um, sometimes when I'm building large pieces like this, I don't record the bathrooms because... I don't know. Sometimes I just want to knock them out and not care about like angles and anything and just kind of take my time with those bathrooms. So you'll see all the bathrooms in the tour at the end. Don't worry, but they all match each apartment theme. Um, yeah, I don't even think we have a TV in this apartment now that I'm thinking about it. I think we just have this nice modern luxe bookshelf, which I had to use again. I feel like I never get to use it. <laughs> so it's really pretty but it's just not it's not my style like I wouldn't have a bookshelf like that in real life mostly because glass is sometimes hard to clean and I mean I guess it could be easy to clean but it takes a lot and you know fingerprints and I have dogs and cats and it's well one cat but you know in real life it just wouldn't work for me <laughs> but this is my third voiceover in a row for today, so if I do start to get a little rambly, I apologize. I do have one more, and that is going to be the video you see after this, um, so stay tuned for that. It is, uh, it's base game, so keep an eye out for that, so, you know, subscribe and ring the bell, do all those things. But we are going to move on to the bedroom in just a little bit once I figure out what I'm going to do with this tiny hallway space. Uh, I don't think I do much. Oh, a book cart. That's what I do. Honestly, I want a book cart. Let me go on a tangent a little bit and say that I 2023, halfway through it, I got back into reading. I used to be such an avid reader way back in the day, probably like early high school, I think late high school is when I started. Well, I think it was actually college probably. Maybe because I, w well, I read a lot in college because I was an English major. So it had to be after college. There we go. Because I was probably so tired of just reading for school. And I've read a lot of like classics and literature. Like it was so fun. I absolutely loved it. But I guess I just needed a break for years. And then my friend suggested some books because I told her that I wanted to get back into it. That is something I've been like on and off. I would read books here and there, but nothing too much. <laughs> but now I'm getting way, way deep into all this reading stuff um, that I even have a free trial right now for Kindle Unlimited. And I'm trying that out with my boyfriend's iPad to see if that's something I want to spend money on, either my own iPad or like a Kindle. So we'll see because I love physical books. Uh, that's my favorite way to read, but they do take up a lot of space. They really do. And it gets pricey pretty quickly. So I'm trying to explore those other options. But if you have any um, book recommendations, I'm always looking for some. So let me know, especially if there's some on like Kindle Unlimited that you know of. If you're in that realm, uh, let me know. I want to check them out. So anyway, that was a tangent. Here we are getting the office space together and it feels pretty influencer to me. Um, but you can, you can let me know what you think. But thank you guys for joining me on this journey of building an apartment complex. I would love to do this again sometime if you guys would like to see it. Uh, like I said, it's just might be a while before I do it, but I'll, I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind and on my to-do list one day to revisit and do again. Um, so I can't wait for that day. Thank you again. Make sure you do all the things like comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day or evening. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,